Hi Nikki here aka Smurfy161 just that I, um, I do a video of my new craft room as I've moved house and also to say sorry for not being online very um, on YouTube very much things have just got really busy if you see a fairy little friend it's Lexi as I've now let her in the craft room with me as she's getting a bit better about what she can and can't touch so if you see her or any barking it's her so here I am in the entrance of my craft I'm sorry about that mess down there and also I'm not doing it on the tripod so it could be a bit shaky so I'll do my best not to make you too sick that stuff down there is like all my sewing needle felting and other bits oh and also my um paper trimmer um eventually it will go into that cupboard there I'm just waiting for mum and dad to do some shelves and also the curtain pole because eventually I'm going to put some curtains up so that's the view out my window um in the window is my Martha Stewart punches I won't go into too many things as I have already done a craft video before and nothing's too different by the way that funny sound in the back is Lexi chasing her tail it's one of her favorite things to do little monkey uh, down in this tub here is cards for my own use. In that bag there is a needle felted bag I've decorated for selling. As I sell items for a little bit of pocket money but mainly for Wessex Heart Foundation and Breast Cancer Research. So in this tub here, sorry I really hope I'm not shaking too much, is still my like decoupage, um, odd bits and bobs. Oh, the wheels. I wonder where they go. Um, stickers. Just any little odd bits. I just chuck in there quickly. All my stuff for altered art projects and some completed um, junk mail journals that I just use for my own use. I don't sell them because at the moment I don't think they're good enough for me to sell of the ones I do. Um, heat gun, embossing powders. Another box to be altered. Um, and extra glues foam pads that's that one and then so I've got the sun and of course I haven't got any curtains so I'm sorry if the light's not very clear in here I keep my dies um, for the embosser so like spell bun spell bundles spell binders um, some no, embossing folders little thing with like just my extra brads little things like that in here is all my um scrap bits of cards i've got like xmas card patterned xmas boy paper and then in the bottom scrap bits of miri card and stuff and then over here is my desk that's so the same desk but just i've made it shorter because the room it's the same size room as where i was before but it's just a different shape so i've had to fiddle things around a bit so there's my sorry the sun's really bad i can't even see what i'm doing myself um, in the corner is the blue um, thing and it's got like my card kits in and in the bottom scrap bits of white card. My little tin with my bits that I use all the time. Um, same like pens, little shelf unit with, hold on if I get closer, hold on I'll just cover you up so I don't make you feel too sick. So in here I've got like my messages, Tim Holtz pens and I've only got three because I buy them every now and then. I just can't afford to do the lot. Little bits. Uh, twine, sorry, uh, Christmassy blingy bits, everyday blingy bits, and then that's where I keep my pearls and then my pens and stuff. And, um, and then if I come over here, it's like all my card. I do have a box for Mother's Day and Father's Day because I just once I make something, couple get something that goes in there. Completed decoupage stickers and then like I said cardstock this is all my toppers which I just keep in um, shoe boxes and I decorate looks like I need to get another shoe box for that one this I've done a video on before and it's how I store my bigger dies that I got from crafters companion this has more embossing folders in it um, this here has my card candy and um, hat pins scrapbook albums and then I've got this folder here so I'm doing it all one handed and that sun has been a real pain shouldn't it um, in this folder here I keep stuff like my junk mail journals so I've got that in little sections um, idea sheets and then these two bits here are um, 
like leftover card bits so eventually when I get up to more subscribers I'll do a giveaway so I'll just leave that there rather than trying to put that back um, like I said my albums and in here on the top shelf is all my jewellery making stuff mainly from Crafters Companion and Hobbycraft the bottom shelf is all like my Christmas toppers Christmas ribbon and then an empty box so that's that I'll just cover you up again while I move and then if I come here this is my sideboard again so the top is an absolute mess because eventually up here I'm going to put some shelves and also above my desk I'm going to put some shelves so hopefully I can get myself a bit more sorted so if I come over here uh, this is a notice board I need my mum and da mum or dad to put up some Tim Holtz tissue paper which I normally wrap cards in if I if I'm giving it straight to a friend or if I'm doing a giveaway I'm, I wrap things up in that uh, my smash books uh, baby wipes pen this is like a little box that I chuck stuff in for my smash books this is new and I got it from where I work which is a charity shop and I think it was like two pounds so I keep my washi tape in there and my um, low tack tape empty jar which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet these are some candles that I've finished off for selling so a little pug one um, oh sorry for that rattling and knock and a little kitty bomb this you saw me do a video on and it keeps my plates for my embosser instructions other little books and things that I can just grab I want to get another one of those and then like I said when I get my shelf I can put it up there these are some Christmas tags I've made um, for an all, um, some orders and also just to give to work to sell. Uh, this is my little box where I just chuck all any odd little Christmassy bits. Uh, cello bags, box, and then if I just come here, uh, that's all my 12x12 12 12 folders, another load of 12x12s. 12 and then if I come in here, this is like all my small altar dart stuff, paints, tins, that sort of thing. I hope I'm not making anybody too sick. In here is peel off spray cans, extra inks. Um, you might and wonder why I've got um, a placemat. Well, when I do certain things, I don't want to be marking on anything, so I use that when I use my braddle. In here is um, cards envelopes that sort of thing and here is all my wooden and stamping up stamps this one has lily of the valley other little bits the blanche if i've said that right clarity stamps they just go in there in here is all my ink pads oh i forgot hold on if i just come up here i just remembered um yeah i did a separate video on my stamp folders that i got from crafters and companions so they're up there they used to live in a cupboard down there but i just kept forgetting about them we're not forgetting but just not using them so much so i've put them up here and then if i just come over here so i just move because i'm on my knees and then in here is like my glitter glues my mug i use for my paints um let's try and get a better angle flowers odd bits of ribbon and then in the bottom shelf is buttons and stuff like that so it's pretty much the same as my other craft room but just a different shape and I just wanted to show my new craft room so if I just go around slowly without making anybody feel too sick you can sort of get the idea what is on that oh and this I know it looks really boring but as soon as that's done I'll do another wi um, window I mean video of the new shelves that are hopefully go on the wall and in there but at the moment as you can see it's a big fat bombsite so thanks very much for looking and hope to be back with some other videos soon